A series of escalating crises are revealing something to the world about the United States. But this has long been known by those of us who are pushed to the margins of our society. If you are black or brown in America, if you are working class or struggling to make ends meet, if you are a woman, if you are queer, you know you don't write the rules, even if you carry the burden. If you have had to wait hours in line to vote only to get a broken voting machine, you know our democracy was not built for you. And if you turn on the TV and see candidates fighting each other, but rarely fighting for you, you know the people who run and fund the major political parties don't care about you. The Working Families Party is the party for the multiracial working class, fighting for a nation that cares for all of us. We are building a political home for those who see bigotry, billionaire bailouts, and business as usual in our political system and ask, is that the best we can do? What do we mean when we say political party? For us, it means people doing transformational organizing together to win elections. We advance a shared platform informed by a clear ideology. Plainly put, we believe that none of us is free until all of us are free. Liberation will come when the most oppressed and the most impacted people become the most empowered. As a party, our organizing centers black people, brown people, women, gender non-conforming folks, and the poor and working class. We take questions of power and victory very seriously. We play to win, not to simply make a point, because working people deserve to win real change. Since 1998, we have been doing the hard work of organizing and winning elections all over the country. Our goal is to achieve the power to govern at the local, state, and national level. But we also know that the two-party system in America is a maze of rules and power players that are determined to oppose our movements for liberation. So we have to hack the system. The WFP has a long-term strategy to put working people in power across the country. Together, we build from the bottom up until we replace all the people who govern on behalf of the billionaire class so we can build a country for the many, not the few. How do we do it? There are five building blocks of the WFP strategy. Our strategy is how, together, we will win governing power. We cannot do it without you. First, we identify and recruit WFP voters. In every election campaign, we talk to thousands and thousands of people. We ask them to pledge their support to a shared vision for a nation in which we truly care for each other and the planet. And then we ask these voters to support candidates who will fight with us to materialize this vision. The more our base of voters who are committed to supporting WFP candidates grows, the more ambitious we can be in the fights we take on. Second, we recruit and develop people just like you and me to become volunteers and leaders in the party. Our opponents have money, but we are the people that unlock the power to beat them. We invest in the WFP community with monthly reunions and assemblies, training and political education. Together, we are building the political home we never had and becoming more powerful every step of the way. Third, we bring together individuals and organizations representing millions of working people. Our year-round task is to align these forces into a political party that belongs to all of us. This is who we are accountable to, and this is who we strengthen in the political arena by providing training, capacity, and know-how. Fourth, we all know that the powers that be try to keep us out of the political system. They do it by making it hard to play the game. But we are election organizers, and we win. We never stop working to lay the groundwork for the next round of WFP victories. We recruit and train people just like you and me to be candidates, and then we help run their campaigns, oftentimes inside of Democratic Party primaries. We raise money, and we run sophisticated voter contact programs that speak to literally millions of voters each year. Finally, we build ideological power. What does that mean? Well, how should a voter know the difference between a grassroots candidate who will fight for our people and a politician who answers to billionaires? Under our two-party system, the only information most voters get about a candidate is that they're a Democrat or they're a Republican. That allows a lot of billionaire-friendly Democrats to hide behind a D next to their name. The WFP is a seal of approval for working people's champions that lets voters know which one is which. 
Every day, we bring more people into our party. We share with them what the WFP stands for, and we lift up our people to run for office. That means that every day, more voters know who's really on their side and how we can all vote accordingly. All of this adds up to the WFP's unique contribution to building governing power for America's multiracial working class. Cynics would have us believe that third parties are a fool's errand. But throughout our history, from the abolitionist struggle to end slavery, to the early labor movement's battles against the wealthy ruling class, to the continuing fight to combat Jim Crow America, to the efforts by millions of people to make sure that all people have a place in our democracy, third party movements have shaken this system to its foundations in the past. We can and we will do it again. For decades, the WFP has proved the naysayers wrong. We have won fights for paid sick days and a $15 minimum wage in cities and states across the country. And now we are setting our eyes toward a hopeful future where we can win criminal justice reform and get money out of politics, where we pass strong climate protections and win real renters' rights. We are electing countless people of color and working class champions from school boards to Congress. We are building a political party and we have a plan to win. Join us to stake your claim.